So the fence is made. Now I just need to turn it into a seamless tiling, panning background element or foreground element in this case, so that as our guy walks, there's always gonna be endless fence for him to walk along. So I gotta do a little bit of uh, figuring out here. And I, I usually do this by just eyeballing it, but there's probably a way to do this. Well, I know there is a way to do this with some math. So we'll do it the math way and maybe it'll make it sort of connect the dots between how this all works together. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead here and say the fence. I know that my cat, my guy, takes one stride, his one leg stride is in 13, is in 12 frames, because 13 to the reset position, to the new, um, 13 frames to contact, from contact to contact, and then to contact the second time, the full cycle is 25. So 1 to 13 is stride 1, 13 to 25 is stride 2. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Let's see if I go to 13, because I'm going to track the first walk stride and just nudge my fence there and tween it. And hopefully it'll track. It should track. Yeah, pretty good. So now I know a distance over time. I have some numbers to work with. If I look at, let's go to my notes. If I look at the X horizontal value of this uh, fence symbol on frame one, it is at 615.5. So we can go up here and we can say X, whoops. We can say here, back in black, uh, one, my X is 615. Yeah, my <laughs> animate doesn't really track stylus sometimes, does it? Okay, so now on frame 13, it is unlock it. Uh, 495.55. 495.55. So if we do some math here, uh, we need to know the distance, number of pixels that, I guess it's, yeah, I think it's, it's pixels, coordinates, uh, that our little guy is traveling from frame over 12 frames, basically, right? So let's get our calculator and do some 615.5 minus 495, 119.95. Basically 120. I mean, that's that's half, that's a fifth of a pixel, of uh, five hundredths of a pixel. I think we can just call this 120 and probably be okay. Okay, right. That's how far he's traveling in, in 13, in 12 frames. So let me just, real quick, if we go to 25, then it should be if we subtract 120 from 495.55, we should get the correct number. So we should say 495.55 minus 120. And we're at 375. Five, five. So let's let's see what happens if we go to 25 and we key this out and we set our new x to 375. And it's way over there. We can't even tell, well, we're never gonna know but maybe we will let's go here let's test this and we have one two three and what if we just dupe these guys like and line them up like that and then now we can clear out of that keyframe and let that span continue and see is it still tracking okay it is it's pretty good okay so we're spot on all right so now we know that Basically, if he's if he's covering 120 pixels in one stride, basically covering 240 pixels in 
two strides. And it's kind of, actually, it's kind of perfect. Uh, I didn't plan this at all, but like of all the numbers in the universe, this could have worked out to be. He's, he's basically covering 10 pixels per step because um, it's 240 um, pixels over over 24 frames. And X is the animation that they right? So it's 10 pixels per frame. So that just was like total dumb luck. Total dumb luck there, but it worked out. Your, your, your numbers may be different. Um, and now I just drew all over the wrong layer. So now my should tend to do. That's why, that's why I locked it earlier. So now uh, I cut that out of there and paste it up in here. So it, Okay, and I can walk these. All right, so now, now I have a known quantity to work with. So uh, let's say, you know, he's he's covering, well, that's the amount of distance he's walking in, in one second. And it looks like it's about a third of the screen. So we'll say three seconds should, should cover the whole screen with fence. And let's see if that bears out. So we'll go to, we'll go to three seconds. And we're actually going to go to one second, one frame beyond three seconds. So that'd be uh, frame seventy-three. And extend all this stuff. We don't need the parts extended. I guess we'll extend this out. And now we can do a little bit of math again. If if this uh, coordinate for the fence is three seven five five five, and if we just subtract two hundred forty from it every single time, because you know, as we go, zero is on this side and bigger numbers are on this side. And if th something's moving from right to left, its X coordinates are getting smaller. We get a real time feedback on that. But yeah, there is 615 and here it's now it's 375. So when I get to um, this keyframe, it's going to be, I'm going to subtract 240 to get to here and then another 240. So if I subtract 480, from this amount, I should be, whoops, if I subtract 480 from whatever this is, I should be okay. 375.55 minus 480. So let's see, is my luck gonna hold out? 375.55 minus 480. Negative 104.45, I don't know. Was that gonna work? Let's see. I, I'm not, a, I'm a visual person, so I don't know. 104, I think 4.5, was that it? And if we tween that out, who knows? Looks like it's working at the same rate. Oh, my cat needs to be there too. Bro, that gets it almost off the screen. Let's uh, let's keep let's keep adding and see if this works. All right, so let me go into my fence comp and let me make sure snapping is on. And I'm gonna, what happens if I group? I'm not gonna group them. I'm gonna just shift them and duplicate them. And I'm going to, I, what I did was I doubled over to make sure that it aligned up perfectly and snapped to itself. Cause if I go over here, I don't know, that's not necessarily aligning up, keeping the distance correct. But if I snap it to that, then I know that it's it's still on alignment, but then like right here I have two sets of fence posts for these three. So I'm going to keep on pushing my luck here and seeing if I can. All right, let me back up a level here now and see if does this track. It looks like it is still. Okay, so that's that's pretty good. All right, spot on. Okay, great. So I think I'm if I keep doing what I'm doing, I'm not gonna. I should be okay. So I said about. Three seconds fills the screen, so six seconds should be enough time for everything to. Well, I mean, this is all I need, right? Well, this. No, because I need, I need stuff happening. I need fence here at the front end of it. So let me go ahead and do that. Actually, maybe I don't need any more. Maybe three seconds is all I need. That, I guess that worked. Okay. So now, what happens if I. I guess that works. 
I guess that let's let's see. Let's 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 do this. And let's see. That's at so actually I'll note if this frame is the same silhouette as this frame, it'll work. And it is. Look at that. Spot on. There's no change in the fence. So now this is like uh, when I did the walk cycle, this is like my frame 25, right? This is If this is the same as this when it loops around, I need to actually key this out and eliminate this frame so that it loops seamlessly. Otherwise, it will it'll have a little lag here. Boop, right? OK. So I'm going to do what I just said I was going to do. Convert that to a keyframe uh, and eliminate all of these. And actually, I guess I don't need my notes anymore. Well, you know, I still, I might want them. I might, because who knows, maybe uh, I'm going to give this file to somebody and um, they need to do some stuff. And they, maybe they're going to track it differently or whatever. But I can say, make a note on here and just say, people of the future, uh, when you animate this, just know that he's 240 pixels um, per second. And that is a uh, tracking walk. Walk tracks. Yeah. Okay. So now I can guide that out. Okay. So that was less painful than I thought it would be. All right, so now we can go back in to my, our cat and we can hide these guides, the, the foot position, the stride length and all that stuff. And this is probably a good place to actually make that notation as well. And we can just write it in here. Uh, walk tracks. Yeah. can say 10x per frame. Makes a little more sense, maybe. Okay, so let's save that one out. And then now um, we can add the shadow effect and the moonlight and all that other good stuff.